greetings everyone. I am Audrey Tan from SJKC Funutun Johor Bahru. Let me introduce one of my favourite books to you, Flowers for Algernon. This book by an American writer, Daniel Keyes, falls under the science fiction genre, but it's a lot more than just an imagination of the future. This book was so ahead of its time that it won the Hugo Award for the best story in 1960. The story is narrated by Charlie Gordon, a 32-year-old mentally challenged man who is the first human to undergo a surgery that will increase his mental capabilities. This very same surgery had already been performed successfully on a mouse called Algernon. The surgery gives Charlie a genius level intellect, but it does not make him emotionally intelligent. He still has difficulty in making friends and connecting with people. In my opinion, Charlie has two characters in this story, one before and one after the surgery. The Charlie before the surgery just wants to please everyone around him and be smart. The Charlie after the surgery is much more complicated. His newfound intellect changes his perspective of the world. The more he reflects on his life, the more unhappy he becomes with the way he is treated and how tainted the world is. Charlie after the operation says, and I quote, I don't know what's worse, to not know what you are and be happy, or to become what you've always wanted to be and to feel lonely. This shows that the story is more than just a science fiction. It's almost poetic and thought-provoking. It shows the importance of understanding and sharing our feelings with one another. There's a special word for that. Empathy. However, my favourite passage of the book is on page 249. It states, Intelligence is one of the greatest human gifts. But all too often a search for knowledge drives out the search for love. Well, I could easily give this book a 5 star rating. With what's happening around the world right now, this book will help you find perspective and may even help you feel content with being a human. Thank you for listening. Once again, I am Audrey Tan.